Welcome one and all to Philadelphia, home and site of King of the Hill miniseries' final event. And you're looking at the truck right here, ladies and gentlemen, that holds a four-point lead going into racing here tonight. And that is Reckless Intent and Josh Rhodes. But there is still one truck in the back that has a shot at the title. Rhodes has 300 points. This fellow right here, Ryan McCauley, has 296. Going into racing, both of these drivers are going to look to try and put an advantage on the other one going into freestyle. Let's find out who has an advantage in round number one. Tyler May, your fastest qualifier in AMS Oil Shock Therapy in the other lane. Stephen Hopkins and the Lucas Oil Stabilizer battle the oil synthetics as they leave the line. Slight edge to AMS Oil Shock Therapy. A quick note, for this event, we had the top 10 in trucks and points scheduled to race as Shock Therapy leads that time by. But one truck didn't show up. That was Maximum Destruction. Scarlet Bandit qualified her way in. And Tyler May takes a first round victory over Stephen Hopkins, who's on two wheels. Hard on the brakes, knew he couldn't save it. Hard rollover. Eric Myers, Iron Outlaw, sitting on the line, qualified third. He'll be taking on Ryan McCauley in the aforementioned backdraft. Just four points back. McCauley did not have a very good qualifying night as he qualified eighth. But neither did the guy he's chasing, Josh Rhodes. And right now, McCauley's really going to have to pull back and pull to the whip. He's not going to be able to do it. And Iron Outlaw is going to pull the upset. Round number one win over backdraft. And McCauley is going to flip it before freestyle. What a wreck for backdraft. Michael Disroach and Black Stallion 2000, a little bit of a retro paint scheme for the Black Stallion machine coming in here to Philly. And in the other lane, the person that qualified in, Sierra Sterling, in the Scarlet Bandit machine taking over maximum destruction spot. And she currently has the lead. Look at this. Going into the final turn, who is going to crack the whip and take the win? Oh, Sterling gets it on two wheels. She was first across the line, but they're throwing up the flag. Penalty. I'm going to show you exactly where she penaltied. It was right there. One tire missed the jump. That is a penalty. And Michael the Roach Disc Roach will be going into the next round of racing. Boy, he had a wild ride, too. Now, this is the one that's going to tail the tail for Reckless Intent as it leaves the line. Josh Rhodes can win the mini the mini series points championship. If he wins this race right here, he would have a great padding on Ryan McCauley going into freestyle. It's not going to be the case, though. Bigfoot tight around the final turn. He'll get the win, and Rhodes is going to flip it over. Boy, he was giving it everything he could get right there. He's only going to gain one point on McCauley before freestyle. Do not adjust your television screen. Gravedigger sporting a retro paint scheme here in Philadelphia. And Casey Graves leaves the line as he's got a tough match ahead of him with Steve Harlow and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Digger up on two wheels just a little bit. That's going to hand the win to TMNT, I believe. They're going to go into the final turn. Camera focuses on TMNT. A beautiful turn, and it will indeed get the win over the Gravedigger. Tyler May right here lining up against Sierra Sterling. She got the whole shot on him, it looked like. But going into this turn, you'll see Sierra Sterling getting shut off by the officials. Something breaking underneath that truck. Tyler May would be RII'd right there, and he would win the round. Eric Myers, an iron outlaw. He has said many times he feels like he's in a slump in racing, and he can definitely make it up for it here if he beats the Black Stallion 2000 retro paint scheme on the Black Stallion machine. Here comes Michael Disroach, though, through the corner. He felt like he had a good hand and a good shot at winning racing here tonight. They are right now dead even going into the final turn. Who is it going to be as they come to the cars? It will be Iron Outlaw, and Roach almost got it. Now they keep getting tighter, folks. Here they come to the line. Iron Outlaw gets the win. Roach kept it nice and low to the ground, but it just wasn't enough. Timothy Smith sitting on the line in the Bigfoot machine. Winner last time out in Nashville Super Speedway. Interesting note, that retro foot design right there. This is the last time you'll see Tim Smith behind the wheel of Bigfoot. He signed a deal to go and drive the tracks as Emacs for the Sim Monster Season 2 series in the Replica Division. And right now, Steve Harlow's got his hands full against one of the best racers in the country. They come to the line. It'll be Bigfoot. Tyler May, Amsoil Shock Therapy. He, too, along with Steve Harlow, for Season 2 of Sim Monsters Replica Series will be in different rides. Tyler, look for him in Blue Thunder. And Steve, look for him in his home Canadian truck, I guess you could say. That would be, of course, Jurassic Attack. As they come around the final turn, they come to the cars. Who's it going to be? Tyler May. 
There you see him, folks, coming to the line, slow motion. Who's it going to be? Tyler by a truck length in an excellent race. This other semifinal matchup is a battle of horsepower. Bigfoot, Tim Smith, Iron Outlaw, and Eric Myers. They leave the line. Myers, of course, going to be driving the brand new Iron Man machine in season two as he takes on Tim Smith, the brand new driver of the tracks at C-Max. They come around the corner. Last ride for Tim Smith. You know he wants to get a racing win. Here comes Myers, who's been in a slump. Wow, it'll be the Bigfoot. Amsoil Shock Therapy, your number one qualifier. Bigfoot, your number four qualifier. They leave the line. This is race one of the finals. The best two out of three for King of the Hill. They come around the first turn. Tyler May going to get a lot of air, but he is behind against the Bigfoot Ford. They come around the final turn. Will it be Retrofoot getting the win, or will it be Tyler May? They come to the line. I can't call it. When they toss a coin, they say call it in the air, and in that one, it was Bigfoot, but I tell you what, folks, not by much. Tyler May, Emsoil Shock Therapy, Tim Smith, Bigfoot, race two of the best two out of three. Can Tyler May push it to a third race, or will Timothy Smith sweep him in two? They come around the first turn. Looks like it's going to be all Bigfoot. Or no, no, it was Tyler May the first time by, but he got a weird bounce going into the final turn. He's still nice and tight to the cars. They come to the line. Bigfoot. Just barely was it Bigfoot. You see Tim Smith over there. He's trying to see who won. Waiting for confirmation. Yep, he got it. Bigfoot is your winner here in King of the Hill, the final event in Philadelphia. Bigfoot returns to Philly in style, ladies and gentlemen. That beautiful retro foot paint scheme looks awesome on that truck as Smith cuts some victory donuts in Bigfoot number 16. Smith, the only guy on the series to win two races, and what a way to do it, winning two in a row. Ladies and gentlemen, this was racing. I can't wait for freestyle.